Uh, so they have to update the official roster. It's now P5 O'Brien. <laughs> P5 O'Brien. P5 O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't realize until I was looking at the, the stats today. I think he was the only safety last year to report a turnover um, on, on this team, which I thought was pretty interesting. Now we look out of practice today, like you, Donovan, Jesse, Cruz. I mean, you guys, your helmets are covered in those takeaway seekers. Are the safeties making more plays this spring? Uh, yeah, man. Just, it's just going back from like last season, like, we still feel like we left a lot of plays out on the field. So this year we just correcting the little stuff and trying to make more splash plays. Like, it's all we coaching our room, making the splash plays and, and getting the job done. When you say little stuff, is it like footwork or something? Yeah, little catches. stuff like alignment, putting us closer to the ball, just watching extra film, making us like execute the, the play better and just know what's, what's coming our way, you know what I'm saying? So you just, you play faster when you know what you're doing out there on the field. EJ, what did Marquez teach you about playing in the secondary? Everything, man. I miss Marquez, man. That's my boy, but uh, since, I'll take it back since high school, man, just, just always throw me little tips, like, especially when he made great plays, like, I just, I still kind of like, Taking little tips from him, even though he played corner, I feel like I can still use that for my game too. I can execute plays. So he'll he'll tell me how to do certain stuff. Like till this day, he'll probably still watch some of our film, like try to coach me up, like execute this play better. But man, Marquez out there was crazy, man. I'm gonna miss playing with Marquez though. Are you helping fill the verbal void of him not being there? Uh, yeah, it's part of kind. Of, yeah, you can say that. Yes, sir. How are you different this year? Uh, you're not just playing a bunch last year for the first time. Oh man, it just, like we speak on turnovers, man. Like, even though it happened last year, I try to forget about like last year. Like I need uh, new stats, like more, I need to make more plays this year. So just just doing things I didn't do last year, man. Like staying longer at the facility, like watching extra film, like eating right, like taking care of my body, man. I just feel like those little things will prepare me for like to make more plays and just be a better athlete. Even the verbal stuff in rough terms of flow out there. Who's the wide receiver that throws throws back at you the best? You got you got Day Day, and you got uh, Kanate Monkfield. Uh, you got uh, Pop too, uh, Rafael Williams. He, he 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 they they all. I'm challenging man. Like I I talk smack even when the ball not even coming our way, man. So I just I just try to get those guys prepared for game time situations, man. You know like. Playing in the ACC is kind of tough. Like you gonna meet, a, you gonna go against some great DBs in the ACC, man. So in practice, we we, we practice like it's game time. So we go at it all day, even when the ball's not coming our way. If he coming to block me, we still gonna go at it. So I just feel like me being vocal out there, like we'll give up a big play or something. Just me and me and being vocal, like come on, y'all guys, like let's pick it up, let's 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 go. And you'll see the change in the momentum of the game, and like the defense will all come together. We will just make more splash plays. So I just feel like me being like more verbal. Letting everybody know like we're on the same page, I feel that's a great thing. Well, the season five months away, how, how do you uh, treat practice in the spring like games? Uh, okay, so so you hear like vets, some veterans be more like, like they'll take it light because they feel like their legs are heavy, but man, in our room, man, we we come to work, man. Like there's no days off, like just because, hey, this my, I'm a senior or I got this much game reps, I'm, I'm, I'm a chill in practice today. Nah, man, I need, I need every rep possible. I need every rep. Like if I can go all day and practice, that's what I do. I mean, I get tired sometimes. I'll probably coach me to get one, but I need every rep. That's that's what's making me better athlete. We, we've seen, we've seen and heard about Cruz and how how impressive he has been. But how has he taken on like you know when he's making those big plays and like there's hype with it. You've been there. You've been a playmaker in the spring and practices. How does he balance that? Like he, has he been like kind of humble or has he been kind of like feeling like hey I'm making my progress a little bit. Cruz, one of those, like, he let the work speak for itself, man. Like, like it start all the way back from, I want to say December, like, but we going on break. You'll just see Cruz in the, uh, in the indoor facility just doing cone drills, just, you know, just got his own vibe going, just preparing for the season, getting right, man. But Cruz going to put his head in there. Cruz going to hit you. Just receivers, be cautious. Please be cautious. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have lost a number of experienced corners. How do you see that room or, or those guys starting to come together? Oh uh, man, so those are, I won't say younger guys because they, they're in my class, but I mean, they all been here, man. They all they all know what it takes to be great. Like we can go all the way back from freshman year with Damari Mathis, man, with Eric Hallett and Brandon Hill. Like just just players in my class, man, they know what it takes to be great, man. We seen those guys come through here, how they how they kept their head down and just worked all day, man. I mean, all of this is work, man. You can't, work can't be undefeated. I ain't gonna lie, that's, it's work. With the work you put in, that's the work you're gonna get. Simple as that. Oh man, those are my brothers.
college, man. It's crazy. Like, it's crazy how you can come to college, man, and just, just you know, be with guys. It just felt like you knew them since you was like four or five, man. So I just feel like our type bond, man, it's, it's, it's never like a disagreement, man. Like, like if I'm making a bad play or I just, I just don't get some, like, I feel like Vaughn will snap on me, Don will snap on me, and I just, I, I take it. Like, it's no, it's no like going back and forth with each other. It was just, we just here to make each other better, man. At the end of the day, it's just about us being better and winning games, man. Winning games will help us, uh, you know, succeed our dreams, man, what we want to do. With Cruz, are you, are you surprised at all at the steps that he's taken so quickly and how, how quickly he's risen? Oh, nah, Cruz came in the dog, man, and Jesse Anderson, man. Those two young boys, they're going to be great, man. They're going to be great. I'm, I'm glad we got those guys, man. We keep those guys under our wings, man. We just we just showed them the way, man. Like how Brandon Hill and Eric Halley used to do, like, me and Javon, like, so we just we try to teach them a lot of things that they don't know and they go out and execute it. Hey guys, I think Nate was in your class. How different, what can you tell us about what's new with Nate and how he's handling this role? Nate, Nate attacks the game very different, man. Like, like it's crazy because this morning I was in team meeting just thinking like, like Nate, like especially he's different, man. Like just him being consistent every day, man. Like, like now even Nate's being more vocal, like, like he knows his role in, in, on the team. Like he knows like his team is surrounded by him. Like we're going off him. He's the QB one. You know what I'm saying? So, so Nate just, I just feel like man, he's he's a great executor, man. He he gets the job done, man. He just he makes sure all his guys is, is good. You know what I'm saying? So, Nate Nate gonna Nate gonna have a great year. The defense is um, undefeated in scrimmages currently with one more to go for that I know for the blue and white game, blue and gold game. Is it more important to stay undefeated, even though the offense is, has talked about how important it is for them to get a win? Ah, uh, man, I'm a sore loser. Like, I hate losing, so I want to win everything. Like, even if it doesn't matter, I want to win. Like, I just want to blow everybody off. Like, I just want to win. Like, I'm, I'm a sore loser, man. So, winning is a big key for me. I ain't going to lie. So, TJ O'Brien never get tired? <sighs> never. I don't get tired. I just get sleepy. TJ, <laughs> 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 you obviously not playing football. What are the things in your life do you turn that kind of enthusiasm into? Uh, I like fishing. I like, I like, I like, I like game. Like being on the game, Warzone, Call of Duty. Uh, here now and then I go like to mall shopping, but I'm, I'm more of like a family person too. Like, so when I get time, I try to, I try to like talk to my family a lot. Just, just cause I don't see them a lot. You know, I mean, I'm adapted to being in Pittsburgh now, but I'm still like this big family guy. Like, like I'm in hella group chats with all my family. They just text me every morning, just, just quotes to be great. Like. So I'm, I'm a big family guy, but outside of football, definitely like I like fishing. I Where do you go fishing? fishing? Uh, so Around here? Nah, when I go back home, like to the intercoastal, I get on the boat and just throw my rod out there and just catch a fish. So I just I, stuff like that just entertain me, man. Deep sea fishing or just? Yeah, deep sea. You can say that. Yeah, deep sea, salt water. Mm -hmm. What's the biggest fish you've ever caught? <sighs> I think shark before. I, I I call it a shark, but it had whiskers, so they say it was a catfish, but. I don't know. I call it a shark. <laughs> How big was it? Probably about. about I, had to hold him, I had to hold him in the mouth like this, so it couldn't have been a shark because my finger would have been around <laughs> <Catfish would eat. laughs> have, have you ever fished around here? Uh, nah, Coach Powell actually was supposed to take me on the boat, but Coach Powell is not here anymore, so maybe one day I can uh, you know, go out with the guys one day and go fishing. We can have a great time. Anything else?